party people welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing yet another timu haul uh so this is i think two orders but so i'm going to try and link them both below but with that being said sometimes timu isn't letting me link the the um orders it just when i go to post a link it, it says timu.com slash share or something so I will also try and put the price up as best as I can. Um, or if you don't see a link down below, please leave me a comment uh, it, for any item you might want. Um, I will get you the link or I'll try to do my best. Some things end up being sold out, so <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, I have like four other Timu hauls to do, so I'm like super excited. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you're watching me. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Um, I love sharing my hauls with you. I think I'm going to do a 3,000, eh, I got hair in my mouth, a 3,000, um, subscriber giveaway, and then I might do one at 4,000 too, and it's probably going to be a combination of like Timu items and gift cards, because a lot of the stuff I bought, I'm going to be honest, I'm not even going to use, so I have to like be careful of what I'm buying going forward, because I have a tendency to buy too much, or too much of the same thing, so with that being said, let's just get right into this, um, I have these two boxes right here, um, it's two of the same thing, I bought two of these, um, so yeah let's see i'm always so these are lights um they were kind of like farmhousey type of lights or i kind of felt like they were but all they are are these like wired um cages kind of and there's like an edison bulb in here but you can always change out the bulb to whatever type of bulb that you want but it's battery powered so i thought i would like leave these um even outside maybe I don't know if I would like leave them out in the weather but I would I was thinking about putting them out on the porch like if we're just outside and it's at night or maybe like in a ba in my bathroom just as a kind of like an extra light in there that's battery powered because our bathroom only has like one switch and I thought maybe just on the back of the toilet or maybe you have like a little kids room or just need a little bit of extra lighting somewhere so I bought two of these so I'm not gonna open the other one but it's it's the same exact thing but it looks like you can use I'm half afraid to twist the bulb out of this. It's got like, oh, it's, what the heck? The bulb is like wired in there and I don't know why. Okay, well maybe I'm not taking that out. I'll have to check that out. I'm, I'm hoping you can replace this bulb. Maybe it doesn't get replaced. Surely that would burn out eventually. I don't know guys, I'll have to figure that out, but let me see if it's, no, yeah, it definitely needs batteries. Um, it looks like it takes, three triple A's so yeah I'll have to I'm gonna have my boyfriend look at that because I don't understand why you can't get that bulb out of there like when I pull it out it looks like there's wires coming with it so Ugh. I don't know if that's such a good thing so yeah I bought two of those and they both came you know they're both arrived okay so let me put that back there okay I'm really excited for these shoes I thought they were like super cute super cute I say cute so much. They're a size 37, which I was hoping was like a seven and a half, but they're really cute. Like, look at the inside. They're like a buffalo check. I will tell you these stink. <clears throat> I will just tell you that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is the bottom. They're like pebble checked, but it's got some tread on it. I just thought they were really cute. So I hope they fit. They look pretty well made. Um, even the inside's not too too bad like I don't think I would need like a insert or anything sorry about that I just had a coughing fit I didn't want to leave on here so yeah I thought they were super cute and these came in different colors too so yeah I will leave the price up for those really cute I hopefully there's still some available I feel like they weren't too bad of a price I probably should look prices up before I get on here so I can be like oh yeah I paid blah 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 for this but I know I never can remember that Okay, this is something big and orange. I think it's a sweater. And you guys know I've complained about Timu clothes up until now, but I'm trying. And I figure I'll keep trying because I bought a couple of really nice sweatshirts from them like the first time I ever ordered from them and they were great. So this is probably just a really big, heavy sweater. Um, I like to order my sweaters like huge on me. Let me see what size I bought in this because I wore plus size and this is a 5XL, but I wanted it like super big so I can like layer underneath it, I'm guessing. That's how I usually roll. 
but it doesn't feel bad. I love the color orange. I'm gonna look like a pumpkin probably, but <laughs> hey, whatever, it's pumpkin season, so I ain't mad. It's a, it is a sweater. So it looks like the sides kind of, um, what do I wanna say? Like they cascade down, you know what I mean? Let me find the shoulders. Hold on, please. Hold, please. So here's the shoulders. So it's very like, um, what's that? Dolman sleeve, and then the sleeves are like tight. I think I'm gonna love this, to be quite honest with you. I love orange. I, I'm obsessed with like the color orange. I think, I think if you have blonde hair and blue eyes, that you look really good in the color orange. Don't ever be afraid to wear colors. Like I just feel like orange orange is a good color it doesn't feel bad guys it does not feel bad at all so that's a winner i think if it looks decent on i just like to wear <clears throat> you know like a t-shirt or a tank top underneath it but i thought it'd be really cute if i wore like some kind of halloween t-shirt or you know like hey y'all it's fall type t-shirt i'm gonna set that back there okay i got another cardigan let's see what this one's like i got this one also and and i wear like a 2022 in women's so this is a 4XL. Um, yeah, I have trouble with my arms. Like, my arms are chunkier than, like, the rest of my body for some reason. Like, thanks, genetics. Okay, a little piece of paper fell out. So this is what this one is. Is this, like, a sweater? Okay, this is, like, an actual sweater. Sweater. It's not bad. It's kind of short. Um, I feel like this is probably the front, though. It's not bad. It's, like, kind of... You know, it don't look too bad. I'm afraid these arms are gonna be a little too small though. So we're gonna we're gonna have to try that on. But it's not bad. It doesn't feel horrible. It doesn't feel horrible. I'm just afraid of the length too. It looks like a little short in the torso. And I'm short anyways, so for me for me to think it's short, it must be like really short then. Okay. Next I have this large bag of items. So let's see here. Oh, I got my cat a bunch of toys. They are so cute. Now, I'm going to have to, like, go over these first with, like, a comb because they're, they're, like, shedding, and I don't want my cat to, like, choke on that. So let me pull my hand. I'm just, like, pulling my hands through. They're, like, little octopus. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can give these to her. I don't even know if I could give this to her because they're coming apart, and her little claws are so sharp, but they're so cute. I'm afraid she'll have a mess everywhere. Look at what's fallen off just from me pulling on it. Maybe if I just pull them all off, but I'm afraid if she gets her claws or teeth on this, forget it, you know? I got two of them. That one, I think they were all the same price, but yeah, I don't know if I should give these to her. I'm too afraid. She's, she's just like eight, she's like nine weeks now. I, I had her to the vet last, or this past week on Friday, and she's doing really well, and she got wormed and all of that fun stuff, but her claws are so sharp. Like, I'm afraid to give her these that she's just gonna pull the stuff right off of it you know what I mean oh I just don't know maybe I'm too worried about that I don't know like I I would I would literally be so upset if she like pulled something off here with her sharp claws and like choked on it oh my god I would never forgive myself never okay yeah but look what came off of that I don't know what do you guys think would you give it to your cat I mean she's just a baby and I hate to like and her claws are so sharp like my older cat I probably wouldn't worry as much but my younger one I'm worried about because I don't want her like biting and ripping these and then they'll be like all over the place. So I don't know about those. What would you do? Would you give it to her or not? Okay, no idea what this is. <sighs> what did I buy? What is this? Oh, you know what this is? <clears throat> you guys, don't laugh. Don't laugh, but I think it's a, um, hold on, let me put my glasses on. It's a harness chest strap, and you can put, like, your phone or a GoPro or something on it. I have to figure out how to use it, but I thought if I ever did, like, went into a store and did, like, any shop with me, I'd just, you know, put my phone right on my chest, and I wouldn't have to carry it. Oh, my God, does that sound terrible? Like, how, it's, <laughs> would you wear this, though, like, in a store? Like, hey, just wearing my chest cam. Just wearing my chest cam, everybody. Don't worry. Just, uh, got my old chest cam on. I just don't know. If I don't use it, my boyfriend always has a GoPro, so yeah, I don't know. There's like this part that has the strap. This is like a whole thing. Like they didn't even give directions. There's this part, there's this thing, and then it's got this thing, and then it's got this thing. So I have no idea how all of this goes together. And 
So yeah, but it's like a little chest strap you wear like this. And you could put your, I, I assume the phone can get, I don't know. They didn't even send directions, so. Oh boy, I might have to have him look at that. He may use it for his GoPro, I don't know. So, mm, I was gonna use it for my phone, but like, do you think it would be like weird for me to walk through like Dollar Tree and do like some type of a haul with a chest cam on? <laughs> I feel like that might be weird. Would it be weird? I don't know, I think it would be kind of cool. I'd be like, hey, I know what you're doing. You're doing a little shop with me. But yeah, so that's what that is. I don't know about that either. There's no directions. Like, I hope I can even figure it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so please tell me I did not buy two of these. Did I buy two? <sighs> you have to be kidding me. Harness chest strap. It's literally the same thing. I don't know why I bought two. I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh lord. Okay, next up, well, I got a three, or no, is there three? One, two... Three, four, five. There's six toothbrushes in here. I just thought they looked like really good, good quality. So this is what they all look like. Um, of course, it's in Chinese or something, so I can't read it. But yeah, they're all the same. They all are like this one, but they're just different colors. Um, you get yellow, blue, orange, green, and I guess that's it. Two blue ones. So yeah, it's a six pack. Six pack of toothbrushes. I often always use like an extra toothbrush, like, so yeah. Needed those. Um, oh, I got this. Did you guys see any of these? So this is toothpaste, but it's the peach iced tea flavored toothpaste. Do you know that brand that like, I think the Kardashians use it. It's like, a, I think it might be high smell, but I'm not sure. But it, they have flavored toothpastes. And I probably have more than one in here, but I want to try all the flavors. So this one's peach iced tea. Uh, glory, they call it Glory Smile peach iced tea toothpaste. Okay, I gotta taste it. Let's taste it. I just want a little wee bit. Just a little wee bit. Come on. It's like a gel. Oh my god, it smells. Just... It's it's a gel. It's not like a paste. It smells just like peach iced tea. It's got a minty, a minty feel to it, but oh my gosh, it literally smells just like peach iced tea. Like Snapple, but it gives you like a minty, there's like some kind of minty flavor going on there. So that's kind of a weird combo, but holy moly, peach iced tea toothpaste. So, I mean, it literally smells just like peach iced tea. I'm not even kidding. But when you put it in your mouth, it's like a, it gives you mint. So that's weird. But yeah. Okay. Next up, I just got three hair clips. They look like this. I always feel like I don't show it good enough. I'm like going through everything so fast. But so yeah, they're just like kind of matte colored. There's this one, a blue and a brown. So this, they look like this. Very nice clips. Very nice. They feel really nice. They feel like almost like rubbery, like they have a rubbery coating. Yeah, love those. I needed some hair clips, so. Yeah, very nice. Okay, oh, this is the other thing I got that I thought I could use if I do a shop with me. It's a neck holder for your phone. You guys, I'm... I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. So you put this around your neck like a stethoscope. And somehow this is supposed to hold your phone. But I have no idea how. Like, how is this supposed to hold your phone? Oh, does this... Oh, wait. Okay, this is like... But yeah, you just kind of... You. I'm glad you don't have to like... You just put it on like stethoscope. Like, hey, how are you? Here's my cell phone camera. Would it be weird to like have like a cell phone hanging off your neck as you're walking through the store? Plus, I don't know if like... <laughs> ready shop with me woo that way your hands free you can like I don't know we might have to try this <laughs> we might have to do a shopping but it's just like a little stethoscope oh my gosh you guys what am I doing with my life so yeah kind of neat though am I right but like these fold down so you fold these so it can like okay all right <laughs> I don't know we're going to be doing a little neck shop with me coming soon. Okay, 
Here's another one of these toothpaste. What kind is this one? Coconut Whip. Ooh, that sounds delicious. So let's try this one. Coconut Whip. It's, it's, it's toothpaste. Glory Smile Coconut Whip Toothpaste. And the, I'm trying to get the lid on. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. You, it takes a minute to get it pumped. But it's not really a paste. It's like a gel. Come on, where are you? Oh, here it comes. So there it is. It's like a gel. I can't smell anything. Okay. It, it tastes like there is something coconutty about it. I can't smell it, but I can taste it. There is like a coconut flavor to it. Very weird. <laughs> I, I wanted to try that other brand so bad, you know, because I'm like, oh my gosh, flavored toothpaste? Heck yes. Sign me up. So yeah. All right. Next up is, oh, I got some of these wireless like earbuds and they look like this though. Like they go, they like clip on your ear instead of like going down in your ear. You know what I mean? Like. So I'm going to test these out. That way I can wear them at work and like nobody can really see them. And I always have trouble with them falling out of my ears. I don't know about you guys. So there's like a little tab right here that I'm guessing that has something to do with the... Oh, yeah. Okay, it's the front. Oh, shoot. I have no idea why that was there. Maybe it was protecting a battery or something. I don't know. It says they're 66% charged right now. So, yeah. There's like a little place right here. And you can charge them and they look like this and i feel like there's is there more of a sticker on here i don't know i have to have my boyfriend look at that because i can't see but yeah it's like mirrored here so but you can see it says left and right now it's saying 63 percent, so they must go down like super fast but you open it up like this and this is what they look like so here's what and they just like clip on your ear so I thought that was really cool. You know, you just kind of clip it on your ear. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. So yeah, they're just wireless earbuds and I love the little case and I love that it shows you, you know, what the percentage is. So I'll let you guys know, maybe in a short or something, if they're like how the sound quality is. So yeah, I will be trying those out. So yeah, the old wireless earbuds. It says you can do a voice call on them, too. Secure, fit, and comfortable. So, yeah, try those out. All right, next up is some more toothpaste. I must have been in a toothpaste mode. It says white toothpaste, five times powerful stain remover, but it's blueberry. It's blueberry flavored. I mean, who knew? Who knew there was such a thing? There's actually an expiration date and everything on here. It says uh, they manufactured it on 3-2. It expires... 3-2 of 2026, so I will have enough toothpaste to last me, like, forever, but this is the bottle. Okay, so let's see if it smells or tastes like blueberry. I'm just going to take this off. Very weird. Yes, it smells like blueberry, and this is more of a paste. It's, like, white, like a paste. The other two, those other ones are more of a gel, but this is definitely a paste. It tastes like some kind of candy, like those, um, not a very good flavor, but you know those like strips of blueberry, like licorice, whatever they are, the, like the kids get them when they're kind of sour. It, it kind of tastes like that, but it's not sour, but it gives me that vibe. So yeah, I don't know. Supposedly it has five times the whitening power, so we'll see, but yeah. So that is that white toothpaste. 5X Powerful Stain Remover. Hmm. We'll see. All right. Here's another one of these Glory Smiles. And I bought it. It's a little one. And it says peach flavor. I don't know if this is the same as the peach tea or not. Let's cut this open. My handy dandy Timu cutter. Let's see. I don't know if this is just peach or if it's peach tea. But it's the same brand. But it says multi-effect fresh oral spray oh it's an oral spray oh neat you spray two to three times after aligning the bottle vertically with the oral cavity oh no kidding it does have xylitol in it just in case anyone needs to know that um but yeah let's see let's check it out 
let's check it out. Apparently I was really wanting some fresh breath. So it looks like this. I like the container. Very nice container. Uh, how do you open it? I don't know. Oh, oh, you just twist it. So you twist and it comes up. Oh, this is so neat. Okay, let me try it. Mm. It tastes kind of like water. I feel like I got, I feel like I got buffaloed. There's really nothing. It doesn't taste like, it literally tastes like water. I'm not kidding. Maybe if I shake it up a little bit. Mm, I, I barely taste anything. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It has water, glycerin, sorbitol, xylitol, aroma, citric acid. I don't even know if this stuff does anything at all to help you with fresh breath or anything. I have no idea. I don't know. I guess if you had like really, if you had like a really um wet, uh, dry mouth maybe, but I can't really taste anything and it tastes just like water. So I don't know. All right. Next up is this little item here. And what this is, is like, you can like remove addresses and stuff. I'll show you with this paper right here. I thought it was a good idea to get one of these. So if you get any type of mail, you're supposed to be able to like roll this thing across and it'll take like off what this says. So hold on. I'm going to run this like across like a stamp type of thing. And then it does this to the paper. And it says something on there. It's prior. I don't know. Privacy. It says privacy, but see how it took away that label? Here, I'll do another one just so you guys can see. Let me find something. Here, let's do this one. So see how this label is? You just take this and go whoop, like that. I mean, obviously it'll be, let me do it better. Hold on. Well, it's hard to do because this is in here, but it's like a little stamp. I don't know how long this thing will last or how much, but I thought if you have to like block out anything, like an address on something or prescription, you know, info or anything like that, that you got to throw in the garbage, then you just take this and instead of shredding everything, you can just go over it with this. So I thought that was pretty cool. In fact, I think I got more of those coming up in another order. All right. Not sure what this is. It says random color, five pieces. Oh, okay. Not sure. Get it out of here. See what this is. What in the world would I buy? Oh, do you guys know what this is? These are those things that you can get hair out of your drain with. And you get five of them. They come in different colors, though. So you can, like, you know, if you have, like, long hair and you, like, stick it down the drain and, like, pull all the hair out. I had, I, I usually buy these from, like, Dollar Tree, but I saw a five-pack and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get some of those. So, yeah, that's what those are. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a five-pack. So that's what those look like. I'm sure you've seen those before. All right, what else? Let me dig deep. Let me dig deep. Oh, here's another one of those toys for the cat. I won't open this one because it's exactly the same as the other two that I showed you before. Okay, I also got this. Now, I know I've shown this one other time. It's a flag for the front of my car. Now, I bought it in white, but I didn't put it on my Jeep because it didn't look right. The white didn't match the white on my Jeep. I know that's crazy, but it's true. But, I, but my Jeep has red on it. So, I got the red one to put on um, instead of the white. So, it's just a big flag sticker. It's a big American flag sticker. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. It goes on the front of your Jeep or truck or on the back of your truck or however. I mean, it's pretty big. It's a pretty good size. So, um, I'm not sure what size. Maybe I'll put it on the screen if, I, if it says... Um, it doesn't say on the package, so, yeah. So that, I decided to go with red instead of white. Alright, is this the last item? No? Hold on, let me go underneath here. I don't know what this is. Oh, I bought these, I bought these bags, these, like, resealable type of, um, how many is in here, does it say? They are a X, XL size, 11.81 by 9 0.06 inches and we get every plate boxes for meals like hello fresh kind of and i thought this would be good to organize those in like i could put the meal in this little bag so it stays so everything stays fresh because they open up like it's like a it's just like a ziploc kind of situation only it's more ugh, there's more room i mean you know you get a little bit extra room in here so you can fit more stuff in, you know what I mean? 
And then you could always wash them out and reuse them. So they're like reusable, but yeah, they're just little Ziploc kind of bags. But I wanted to put my whole meal in there because if you have every plate or, you know, they give you five. So we do five meals a week. So I thought that would be perfect to like put those meals in and seal it up and put it back in the fridge so everything stays, uh, everything stays, what I want to say, fresh. Did I get more of these? Okay, I got another pack, five pack. I think. Is there five in here? Yeah, so I don't know why I got two, but that's me for you. Okay, last item. Last item is a clothing item. We know how much I love clothing items. So I swear I bought this and returned it last week. I'm not even kidding. I swear I bought this last week and returned it. Oh, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Oh, shoot. So, oh, this is a dress. Hold on. Hold on, please. It has like a little... Okay, so this is a dress, and I don't know if it's going to fit or not. It's The sleeves look like they're a pretty good size, but look at the print. Isn't that pretty? But it's just a, like a sheath dress. I know you can't really see it, but it's got like a waist tie. I actually thought the waist, it's a dress. I thought that the waist um, had a like a cinch to it, but it doesn't. So I don't know. I'll try it on. I mean, I kind of like it. I love the print. But it's just kind of like a long A-line type of dress. But I love the print, but it's a little bit see-through. So, I don't know. That was the last item. I will try it on, though. It doesn't feel bad. It's got like a V-neck. But I thought that the I thought that the waist cinched in itself. That you didn't have to use this. So, there's that. Okay, that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. I feel beat. It's Sunday night. I'm probably going to try and upload this tonight. And get it up for you tonight. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, if you see, what did you? What was your favorite item? I don't even know what mine was. I, I would say the really cool toothpaste. Like, whoever thought of like peach iced tea toothpaste? I mean that that is so me. <laughs> but, anyways, that's all I have for right now. I have several hauls coming up, and then a couple other things I'm gonna do. And I'm going to put up a video. I'm gonna go through my stuff and then get some. Um, uh, gift cards. Some would do a three and 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Please like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.